Hey everyone, welcome to the game week 15 team selection. We have one last game week that is over three days, only one game starting today. Uh, it's kind of a lowly one too, but it's going to lock all our lineups. But uh, this is the last game week before the World Cup. So if we've liked everything up until now and we're about to uh, enjoy the World Cup, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be taking a little break lately. Uh, I might play the World Cup fantasy game if anyone's interested. We can set up a league for us there. Um, but uh, yeah, please don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, I'll explain this video. It's going to be a little different. Um, I'll obviously talk about my lineup and everything, but I'm probably not going to give a top five selection this week. And this is because unless you're planning on wild carding uh, or sorry, shuffling, I should say for this game, uh, you are probably going to want, if you can, two uh, transfers coming out of the World Cup. There will be players that get injured. Well, hopefully not too many. Hopefully none at all. But likely there will be players that get injured. And they may impact your teams. It may be a player that you bring in for this week. And then all of a sudden they're injured after the World Cup. And I need to get rid of them again. So for me, I don't like the way my team looks going to this game week. But I'm still going to roll the transfer, I believe. Uh, just so I have two transfers to use coming out of the World Cup. Because changes may need to be made. And this is going to be... That they they have a month to get injured and us not being able to do anything about it. Um, obviously not all of our players are in the World Cup, so if you have players or you're bringing a player that won't be there, maybe that's a little uh safer. But as we can see, like we will probably need. We're not as lucky as people in the fantasy Premier League game, uh, where they're gonna have a World Cup coming out of it. I have seen nothing that leads to us being able to do that. Um, so we need to manage this intelligently so i'm going to say don't use a transfer if you if you can roll it this week roll it and another thing this week is if you're bringing in a big player like juve is playing lazio we got who's the other one like milan and fiorentina uh inter and atalanta like all the big teams seem to be playing each other this week so i don't even know if there's really a standout captain i haven't actually even really looked forward i don't know who i'd pick on my team i don't i'm not fully confident in anyone really um, I guess I'd go with Leao against Fiorentina again, but he's been so disappointing. Maybe Kim and I'll just bank on the clean sheet for Napoli. That's that decision I'll try to make by the end of the video. Um, or I could even go an outside shot for Di Gregorio to have a clean sheet against Lernatana. That would be interesting. Um, but anyway, this is how I'm looking. So I have uh, Di Gregorio net against Lernatana. I do like that over uh, Falcone against Sampdoria. I'm pretty sure Sampdoria is last in the table right now. So some might argue to go that way. But I just think overall Di Gregorio's perform better. Uh, Lernatana is, I think, better offense than they had last year. But I still don't think it's great. I mean, I know it's against the Monza defense, which also isn't that great. But I just think uh, I'm going to go that way based on form. Um, someone that I don't really want to play is Gigi, but between my bench options right now, I really don't have a choice. Um, so he'll be starting Dumfries again against Atalanta. I could also see him not starting though, going to play for Holland. Um, I don't know if he's going to be available. Like I'm sure he's available, but I don't know if they're going to play him just as precautionary. Um, Kim against Udinese. Hopefully he's starting. He's been doing great. Tamori will not be selected by the England side. So he, I think, will feature, which is a good sign. Um, shoot, I know I'm sure Leo got selected. I know I saw Brazil's recently. Uh, let me know because I just can't remember off the top of my head. But it's possible that we won't see Leo start again. And this could be a mistake if I captain him. Uh, Anderson against Juve. I'm not expecting big things. Also, Chiro and Mobile came back and finished the game. Um in their last one. So it might be a sign that he's uh, Chiro's going to start next game, especially because Italy's not in the World Cup um, over Felipe Anderson if he's ready. So that might have been a short-lived uh, punt there. Unfortunately, I thought the injury was longer than it was. Um, Barella, I could definitely see starting as uh, same reason Italy's not there. Latro Martinez is going to be a question mark as he will be looking to be part of the Argentina squad. And then we have Delefeu and Arnautovic. Arnautovic is really, his form's really dipped. Uh, he might be someone after the World Cup I'm looking to move on from. Uh, but the striking right now isn't great aside from Latro Martinez. So 
Um, that's kind of how the squad's shaping up right now. I do think I will leave the captaincy on Leal and uh, maybe I'll throw the vice captaincy, vice captaincy over to Kim. Um, but I don't know, that's how we're lining up. I'm not super thrilled by this uh, team this week. We'll see what happens. Sometimes those are the weeks that just the perfect things fall in place. But a lot of players playing each other. Uh, I'm not going to do a top five, but if I am you this week and you want to make a transfer, I'm probably transferring in a Napoli player because they have an easier matchup compared to the other big teams. So no Shimhen, Kim, um, players like that that have been performing well right now. That's who I'd be bringing in. Okay. Um, let's quickly take a look at what people are doing around the league. Anderson still most brought in with Oshimhen. We've got Danilo, Zakanji, and Lookman. People are transferring out Kravashelia. His price has just gone up too much for me to get rid of him. I just want him to come back at the same price. So, um, yeah, it'd be great to have a third bench spot or another player that I could play instead of Gigi or something. But uh, I'm just going to be keeping him. And after all these players that have injuries, most of them will probably be good to go in a month. So, uh, yeah, that's how I'm sticking there. I'll be sticking by him. Um, interesting, uh, top group last game week. We have very named strikers. It's actually a very, uh, big name team, I'd say for this game week. So that's cool. Um, with Cremonese keeper, uh, getting the biggest score, but that's going to be all from this week. Um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, enjoy the world cup. I'll be cheering for Canada. Put in the comments uh, below who you will be cheering for, um, in the world cup. Take care and have a good last game week before the World Cup.